You began you writing about space travel before people like there Mr. was Burroughs, space first travel. Of all. Now there is. Right. What is space travel going to do for man? Space travel is going to enable us to live forever. That's its most important live function. Yes, we wish to guard the gift of life. Uh, Kazan Zakis puts it very well in his most remarkable book, which no one has read, very few, few people have read it, um, The uh, Saviors of God. And in the book he says, God cries out to be saved. We go to save him. That's what space travel is all about. In this part of the universe, God has wakened on this planet and shaped himself the way we are shaped. Mm -hmm. We are the flesh of the universe which wishes to know itself. Well, that's great. That's responsible. That's beautiful. It's a very nice concept of religion, one I'm very co uh, comfortable with. Mm -hmm. I like to think of myself as part of the universe waking up and looking around saying, hey, this is remarkable. Look at this. I have all these senses. I'd like to keep this gift going. You find no conflict between religion and science, then? Oh, absolutely none. They are, uh, the, the processes they're going through are, almost, are the two halves of a coin because everything ends in mystery. I mean, the scientists have theories, and the theologians have myths, and they're the both, both the same thing, mm -hmm. because we end up in ignorance. We don't know what gravity is, we have theories about light, but they're only theories which are being revised. Even Mr. Einstein is coming under scrutiny again in the last few years mm -hmm. with some of his theories. These will be revised and changed in the next 100 years, and again 100,000 years from now. Mm -hmm. The important thing is we should gather as much data as we can, as many facts as we need, and on these, base our theories which help us to survive and where the mystery begins theology takes over so it's two halves of the same coin we have to think about the unthinkable which is what religion does yeah. and science does too at times trying to figure out what in heck's going on you know how do we get here where did we come from where are we going we don't have the answers and we never will have them so we make do with theory and with theology and with the two of them as tools one to work with the basic facts one to take up where the mystery begins We'll make do and go on into the future and live for three billion years in space. Not just here, but on on out to the stars. That's mm -hmm. what space travel is all about.